back to Dynamo Swag Academy YouTube channel. Dynamo Swag Academy brings you video course on Dynamo Swag Academy, Power Platform, Azure, as well as Microsoft Swag Academy. So in this video, we are going to talk about auditing in Dynamo Swag Academy customer engagement in detail. Auditing basically enables the administrators you know, to keep track of all the changes that we have done. So as a system admin, you can keep track of every changes that are done by the users in the system. So in this video, we will be explaining how we can enable auditing at the global level for the entire organization, how we can enable auditing for a particular entity or some of its fields, how we can optimize the auditing in the customer engagement application, how we can configure security roles in order to enable uh, users to give access to the different parts of the auditing area, how we can partition as well as configure the audit partitions, how we can manage the audit partition and how we can enable them, etc. So I'll just share my screen and I'll show you how we can just enable as well as like how we can perform the operations on uh, auditing in very detail. All right, so I'm in my Dynamics 5 customer engagement application. So in order to access the auditing feature, I need to navigate to settings, system settings and auditing. This is one way of accessing it. So once I'm here, I'll be able to see four options. First one is global audit setting. That is where I need to configure the auditing option. Second one is audit summary view, entity and field audit settings, and finally audit log management. So under global audit setting, this is where I need to enable the auditing first. So when you procure Dynamics 5 customer engagement application, auditing will not be enabled by default. You have to do it as a system admin. So you have to select this option, start auditing. I have already enabled it. I can enable it once again. Also, I can enable the user access so that I'll be able to understand when a user have accessed the system and how long you can understand that one. So I just select both of this. Also have the option to enable auditing in the following areas such as common entities. I can see the list of all the entities that are going to be enabled or disabled by selecting this and then select sales entities, marketing entities and custom service entities. We can select this so that all these entities in the list will be enabled, but I'm not going to do it here for a specific reason because once I enable it here, all the entities mentioned in the list will be enabled for auditing and all of its fields will be enabled. That is not an optimized way of doing auditing. So I'll just start auditing from here and then click OK. Okay. And then what I can do is I can just configure it in different places. So before I'm going to enable auditing for entity and individual fields, what I'm going to show you is I'll show you the audit summary view. So this is for system admin who can see who access the system and when. So in my case, I have enabled auditing sometime back, a little back, because my system has been formatted. Otherwise, you'd be able to see thousands of records will be over here for any running system. Right? I just enabled it today, so you can see only your seven or eight records are over here. As you keep utilizing the system, you'll be able to see more. As I already explained, you can once you once you enable auditing, you'll be able to see the list of all the updates that you have done. You can keep track of all the changes you have done, such as update, create delete and etc and who made these changes you can see all of that right so here it is showing when the audit has been configured in my system i can see that information over here i can simply double click on here i can see that yeah that is what i have done global auditing was in started by firoz Muhammad on this date and time similarly user access i can see here user started accessing dynamics file on this date by this time you can see all of that. When I start editing the record, I'll be able to see that as well. I'll show you that. So I'll go back to the auditing option. Then I got an entity and field audit settings. So what this option will do to me is, um, it will take me to the default solution in my customer engagement application. That is where I can select any application. That is where I can select any entity. I just navigate to account entity, double click on the entity. So I'll get the account entity properties over here. This is the entity properties for account. Now you can see that under data services, auditing has been enabled. Once you just tick this box, then it is saying by default, all fields for this entity are enabled for auditing. Choose the fields tab to enable or disable specific fields for auditing. What this means is once I enable auditing for a particular entity, in my case, it is account, all the fields of account entity auditing will be enabled. Account entity has more than 160 fields. For all these fields, including the system field, auditing will be enabled. So I don't need that because it will take up a lot of my space and processing power. So what I'm going to do is I will enable auditing 
only for specific fields. Most probably I will need that for 10 or 15 fields maximum for an entity. Like that I may need it for like 5 entities or 10 entities. So that's why I can or that's why I can I mean enable optimization for auditing rather than enable it for the all entities and all the fields. So I'll go back to fields here. So I'll see the list of all the 160 plus fields of account entity. Now if I need to enable auditing for account entity. what I account ID what I can do is I can double click on this field and then I get the uh, auditing option over here enable it and click and save so like this I can do it for individual fields so now auditing is enabled for this particular field so I just this field is being updated now if I need to enable it for multiple fields based on my requirement I can select multiple fields account category code then I can click edit here after selecting multiple fields and let's see whether if you can enable it there you go auditing so if you want to enable auditing for 15 fields of account entity just go to account entity in your default solution select the list of field select all the 15 fields whichever you want to enable and then go to edit and enable auditing for all those fields so that is the most optimized way of doing it similarly you can do it for other fields as well Alright, so that's how you can enable auditing for specific entities and fields. And finally, you have audit log management. As the name indicates, when you enable auditing in your system, it will be stored in some log. These logs are nothing but a portion of your database, your Dynamics 5 customer engagement database. So here you can see that this is the first log, right? Starting from not available date to uh, 1st of January 2020. Yeah. It's talking about that. Then it is uh, this log has been used for first of January till first of April. That is three months. Then first of April till first of uh, July. July till October. October till um, January of this year. Like that. So every log is being used for three months. So up to ten logs you can utilize. That means your data and your log information will be stored for up to thirty months. That is two and a half years. But as an admin, I have the option to delete these logs if I want to. Yeah, I just need to confirm it. It will be deleted. I have seen in some systems the log records or the logs will run up to a few GBs. So that will eat up all your data storage within your uh, customer engagement application. So it is always better to optimize it properly. And you can delete the logs when, when it is filled. And then you can utilize uh, other logs as well. So only a system admin can do that one. I'll go back to auditing. So I explain all the four items over here right you can enable it here under global audit settings you can see the audit summary view over here as an admin and then also you can just enable it for entities and fields and finally audit log management no no to now in order to deal with audit summary view and uh, audit log management etc there are a few security roles that are controlling this so in order to deal with them we have to go to settings security and then security roles just open any security role. I'll just open up uh, one here, just randomly. And then if I go to the security role, scroll down, I'll be able to see some areas, delete audit partitions. If, I need to, if you need to give a user the permission to delete audit partition, this is option. Delete audit record change history. And then view audit partition, yeah. And then view audit summary, view audit history, etc. This is what? You can enable in a security role so if you want to give access to user on particular areas of our auditing you have to create a new security role or change an existing one and configure these areas in the security role in order to deal with auditing and one last thing uh, if you have enabled auditing for a particular record then as an individual user you can access the history of that record how i can do it i'll go to accounts and then i will access uh, a particular account record over here Then I can go to related and audit history. I have the privilege to see this one. Click on audit history. So I might have some details over here if I have updated record after auditing has been enabled. Yeah, auditing enabled for account entity just a few minutes back. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to this account record, make some changes. Okay, I'll make some changes. This phone number, fax number, I'll enter something. I will select a parent account for this. And what else I can do here? Let me see. Um, 
a bit more street uh, 21st street this one I change to 47 okay and then finally I make some changes so I made some changes to this record aid item corporation record I again go to audit history this time I'll be able to see that auditing enable what else it did okay okay so we have to make some changes once I enable auditing for this account entity we didn't enable for this fields right so what I'll do is now is I'll select all the fields just to show you this this one I'll enable auditing for all the fields why it didn't show is because I enable auditing only for a few fields and those those I haven't updated so you couldn't see anything right so now I'm going to edit it for a couple of fields and then I make the changes so that it will reflect in the audit history let's see how we can do it or even better rather than just doing like this I can go to the account entity and enable it for the entire entity for the time being go to the entity enable auditing and then I say save it now the entity has been updated there you go and then I need to repeat the same operation again because now I enable auditing for all the fields of account entity and then um, in, I'm just checking it enable it once again then what I need to do is you can see it here the change I have done entity audit started then I need to go to the record and make the changes all right and then this one I change to some other entity street address I'll change once again 22nd street I'll just make some changes and finally I save the record all right now I can go back to audit history now I can see the changes I have done there you go so yeah it is showing the time and they click on update event is update you can see that I have updated these fields at what time who did the change and what entity that you can see I have this is the old value and this is a new I have made the changes to street address main phone etc and you can see it and this is a parent record also I made changes so this is how it is tracked because this are the I have enabled it for account entity and all the fields so that I can track it now you know to see this audit history within the security role you have to enable that as well for an individual user just to see the information you have to enable audit history privilege as well within the security role that we are sent to the user because it can be a sensitive information as well all right so in short i have just explained the entire auditing process how we can enable auditing within dynamics for a customer engagement application how we can enable it for a particular entity and it is individual fields we also talk about how we can see the audit summary view and also how to configure that within the security role and finally we have seen how we can access the audit history of a particular record i believe this video is useful to you now if you have any comments or questions you can mention that in the comment box below also we are open to your suggestions now if you like to see more videos from us you can just subscribe our channel dynamics Fire academy youtube channel thanks for watching have a good day